Assalamu alaikum, I am Dr. Junaid Jahangir Abbasi and today I am going to tell you how to proceed a short case of precautionary puberty in your exam. He is an 11 year old boy, Wahab. When the command is, the command in the examination may be do the general physical examination and the relevant. Now when you will come to the patient after introduction, consent and greeting, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Junaid Jahangir Abbasi. I have to check you. Inshallah, you will not have any problem. Okay? I will check you. Thank you. Thank you. Out of introduction, consent and greeting, have a look on overall. Have an overall look of the patient. During this look, your command is to do general physical examination. But during your look and inspection, you will not doubt that the child has something which is pertaining to precautious puberty and you will lead the rest of the year examination in relevant to the precautious puberty. During your inspection, don't touch the patient. Note down certain features. Note down the overall stature. If you find that the child is short stature then take the height of the patient and do the maneuvers of short stature like tell the patient show me your hands make a fist look for asymmetry look for carrying angle see the whether undershooting or overshooting is present and then look for the arm span if your patient is not short stature, then don't do these maneuvers. Then ask the patient to do a gait. Wait up, chalke dekho. Shabash. Very good. Ajo. Jab usse chalaye saath hi uski height le le. Ajo. Judi udar do beta. Judi udar de shabash. Divaan saath khade ho jai. Dono paam jod le. Let's go. Let's go. Once you have taken the height, plotting it down, proceed from the hands of the patient. In the hands, look for <clears throat> uh, any asymmetry. Don't know how to put it. Asikar ke dekho. Asikar. Look at the creases. Look at hyperpigmentation in the creases, which can be present in CAH. See whether the hands are cold and dry, which can be present in hypothyroidism or they are excessively sweating which can be present with hyperthyroidism remember hyperthyroidism with macular bright can also lead to precautious puberty look for clinodactyly clinodactyly can be present in Russell Silver syndrome then check the pulse of the patient if the pulse is slow it can be hypothyroidism if the pulse is collapsing it can be seen in hyperthyroidism with McEwen Albright syndrome after pulse, you check blood pressure over here. In order to save time, I am not checking blood pressure, but in the exam, you have to check blood pressure of the patient. Precautious puberty with an elevated blood pressure. Think of Cushing syndrome. Think of CAH. Think of neurofibromatosis type 1. After checking blood pressure, examine the axilla of the patient. In the axilla, look for the hairs. Note down the tenor staging of the hairs. Smell the odor of hairs. Look for apocrine secretions. And note down the axillary freckling. Remember, if you find axillary freckling in the case of precautious puberty, think of neurofibromatosis type 1. From the axilla, go to the head. In the head, look at the hairs. Are the hairs dry? Dry may be in hypothyroidism. Are they greasy? Greasy may be in CH. Then note down the size of the head. Pre 
precocious puberty with a large head can be hydrocephalus, can be intracranial tumor. Precocious puberty with a small head may be due to trauma, may be due to cerebral palsy. Then look for two other S in the head. Two other S are scars and scars of previous cranial surgery. Maybe he, he has been operated previously for craniopharyngioma. So you have to note down the scar and also look for the shunt of VP. VP shunt if it's a case of hydrocaphalus. Then see the face of the patient. Note down any dysmorphic features, note down whether the face is triangular, precautionary body the triangular face, maybe Russell Silver syndrome. On the face, look at the signs of acne, see the nose, look at comedones at the nose. In the face, look for any abnormal hairs. Then look at the eyes. See whether the eyes are prominent. Prominent eyes can be with hyperthyroidism and macunal bright. See whether there is squint. Squint can be present with 6 cranial nerve palsy. See whether Irish lish nodules are present in the eye. Irish lish nodules. Irish lish nodules can be present in neurofibromatosis. See whether any cataract present. Maybe Cushing syndrome have a cataract. See whether Argyle Robertson pupil is present. Argyle Robertson pupil may be found in the eyes of the precocious puberty due to pineal gland tumor. See whether is there upward gaze present. Upward gaze can be present in the pineal gland tumor. Then do the extraocular movements, check for extraocular movements, H banake, extraocular movements le dekh lein. and then check the field of vision. The checking for field of vision is important because homonymous hemianopia, <coughs> homonymous hemianopia can be present with pituitary gland tumor. The extraocular movements are important to rule out cranial nerve palsies which can be found with the raised ICB or with a space occupying lesion. Once you have done with the eyes, nose, face, sorry, in the eyes also offer the examiner that I would like to do photoscopy of this patient because any central cause of precocious puberty can have raised intracranial pressure leading to papil papil edema. So offer for the photoscopy. Then once you have done with all these things, see the neck of the patient. But I wound burger the hand. See the thyroid, hypothyroidism. Thyroid is important for both hypothyroidism and for hyperthyroidism with McEunel Bright syndrome. Then see the chest of the patient. Come to the chest, look at the nipples, look at the breasts. If the patient is a female, see the do the tenor staging of the breast, look for galactoria, then go to the abdomen. In the abdomen, you have to do palpation of the abdomen, keeping in mind hepatoblastoma, keeping in mind testicular tumor, keeping in mind adrenal tumor. Ideally, the exam. The patient should be lying down on the couch, but just for the purpose of teaching you, I am palpating the abdomen for any mass. I am looking for hepatum gully. If you found hepatum gully, hepatum gully can be found in hepatoblastoma, then you need to check out for the brui. Brui can be present. <coughs> in hepatoblastoma. So when you are palpating the abdomen, look for adrenal masses, ovarian mass if she is a girl and hepatoblastoma. Once you have done with the abdomen, you should have a curtain or a chadar. Tell the examiner that I am going to see the genitalia of this patient. Make sure that you should be very gentle keeping the modesty of the patient, examine the genitalia of the patient.
Note down the shape of the penis, the hair pattern, the scrotum. At that time, you should have a time depressor with you along with measuring tape and you should measure the stretch penile length. The stretch penile length is the length from the tip of the penis, penis to the pubic symphysis. So take the stretch penile length, see whether the pattern of the, what is the pattern of the hairs, the ha hairs are pre-pubertal or post-pubertal, do the proper tanner staging, look at the scrotum, see the rogai, what is the color of the scrotum and once you have done with all these things in the genitalia then again cover the patient gently and then after checking genitalia look for the spine of the patient spine is important because Scoliosis can be a part of neurofibromatosis type 1. After checking spine, go to the lower limbs. In the lower limbs, do the reflexes to see whether the long tracks are involved or not. And also note down the delayed relaxation of the ankle reflex which can be present with hypothyroidism. One thing which I have missed, which I have seen during my inspection but I was not able to tell you is that must during your whole of the examination must see and note down the skin of the patient. Look for cafe or spots in the skin, look for hyperpigmentation in the skin. See whether the skin is dry or cool as seen in hypothyroidism and what about the sebaceous activity in the skin? Is the gland, sebaceous glands overactive? And when you reveal your findings, must also tell the examiner whether you have found capillary spots, hyperpigmentation in the skin or not. This is important. Once you have done, say thank you, thank you, wa shukriya and cover the patient. This is very important. Thank you so much.